going to turn it over to Grio Meekins for some more uh, creative writing instruction. Help you guys get your stories together. All right. Take it away. <laughs> hello, hello, hello out there. All right, all right, all right. So happy to see, almost see, most of you, excuse me, most of you, and I'm hoping that you had a great, 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 great uh, Mother's Day with your mothers. And so now it's time to write. And later on, we might write something about our mothers. That's the thought. That's the thought. But I want to open up with some objectives. Now that's on that was one of, that was on one of my um, on one of the slides. The objectives. See that it's in blue. Can you start with that real quick? I thought about it. See it. Mine won't move. Can you see it? Objectives and outcome. Okay, well, in case we get to it, but I need for you to know that if anybody should ask you, what is it that you do in this storytelling piece? You are going to know and use the process for creating a digital story. You're going to be able to select and use appropriate digital tools for your story. And you're going to understand how to use a storyboard to build and organize your story elements. And in the end, you're going to be able to, or you would have created an original story with different media elements. And you're going to use your story to help you produce your game. What we want to understand is this. We want the game and the story to be related. So the juicier your story is, the more involved your game will be. So I want you to keep that in mind. You want your story and your game to relate. And we're working on how to use different type of media tools to make it more engaging. And at the same time, you're also going to learn how to not only write, but how can we add pictures? How can we add sound to really, really, really get our audience engaged in what we've written and involved? Okay? Let's move on. So, there it is. There it is. Our objective. Now, you see it? Those are, so on one side, you see the objective, and on the other side, what is your outcome? After we've developed, worked on that, what is it that we want in the very end? At the very end, look on the side. You see what it says, that right down? At the end of what we, all that we've done, we want to be able to compose a collaborative story using different media elements, sound, visual. We want to relate the narrative structure to a digital media to write an imaginative, original, appropriate, and engaging story, okay? And then we want to develop a real or imagined experience or event using the technique. And we're going to be able to use descriptive details and well-structured event sequences. So while we're writing our story, while we're working on our game, these are the objectives that we want to work or we want to keep in mind. This is what I'm working towards. This is what I want. And then your outcome is what you want at the end. Okay? Got that? And we're going to be coming back and forth to that. All right? Let's go. Now let's take a look at There's some things that we know. A well-stacked story. Ah! What is that, you guys? Yes! That is a juicy hamburger, cheeseburger, all right? Now, what do you see on the top? 
on the top you, you see this round piece of bread all right what do you see in the middle you i like that bun it's very good what do we see in the middle what do we see in the middle okay we see a piece of cheese uh-huh that hamburger yes 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 here we go and at the very end on the bottom what do we see we see the other piece of that bun a well stacked story a well stacked story looks like this ah, juicy juicy hamburger on the top we have what what's that called our topping what's all that in the middle in the middle is our what according detail all right and on the end at the bottom is our what is our conclusion all right so when you are writing your story you want to think in terms of i'm writing i'm gonna write this real juicy 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 hamburger cheeseburger bacon burger i'm gonna i'm that's what i'm working for that's what i'm working for all right how to build a story like a sandwich you know how you you put that mayonnaise in there that that is hot put some rum oh man wow and it's on huh shoot running down your oh you know what i'm talking about a well stacked story now this well stacked story talked about we want to make sure our well stacked story has a title everybody take out your stories now does your story have a title look at it look at your story what do you what do you want your title you know you we might end up changing it but for right now let's give it a title sometimes we got to have a starting point a title now remember the story that we wrote last week i called that my megan superhero so that's my title for my story megan superhero all right now you want your story to have a single event don't have your character doing a whole lot a whole lot a whole lot of going here there and everywhere and ain't going nowhere let's have a single event a single event what is it that your character is involved in remember this is a short story we're not writing a novel okay so now let's go back to our story from last week what was that single event single event was old megan was leaving a birthday party and a storm comes up she's now caught in this storm and something happened single event okay now what else we want to give our character something to do don't have your character just stand there going ha 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 have your character doing something all right what was our character doing our character she was walking home then a storm was hitting and she's already a a a a a, a, a super a super girl so she starts what she starts getting into action so she can fly away right and then bam ha something happened single event character is doing something stop very good ha she she's helping all right let's go so we know we got a title our story has to have a single event now what i'm getting ready to show you now is what we call uh, your checklist in writing your story you've got a beginning your story has to have a beginning and it must include a hook to draw a reader's attention. I'm going to come back to some hooks that we could use, but it's got to have a hook. All right, and I'm going to and I want to hear what your hook is too, baby. Now you got to make sure you have a setting. Where is your story taking place? Yeah, you know, may not. Okay, what is the hook? I'm going to go back to that. Let me finish. Let me finish the um. Uh, check this. I'm gonna go back to the book. Very good. And you want to introduce your characters in your beginning. 
on that top bun. That top bun. You got a hook, got a setting, and our characters are mentioned. Now, you might have one character that's doing a whole lot, or your character may have some supporting focus. But you got to have some characters, all right? That's your bun, okay? That's your beginning. Your beginning, that's your bun. Okay, right. And I saw that Sasha put in that your hook is what catches the audience's attention from the very jump. Now, here's your middle. Here's your cheese, your tomatoes, your onions, your hamburger, your bologna, your bacon, all right? Here's your middle. Your middle's got to have what? And your beef, all right? Your middle have using the five senses to create an atmosphere. What are our senses? What are our senses? Hit, hit me with it. Hit me with it. What are our senses? We have five. What are our senses? I can't hear you. I don't. All right. Okay. Feel. Touch. Give me another one. All right. Eat. A smell. Good, good, good. Keep going. Keep going. See. Yes, yes, yes. And one more. Hear. Hear. Auditory. Hearing. Okay. So our five. There we go. Those are our five senses. Okay. So what we smell, what we see, what we hear, what we touch, feel. Okay. All right. Hear. All right. There we go. Our five senses. You got it? So we want to make sure that in that middle part, people can get with our senses. What we're going to do? Hey, in the middle part, we're going to include some action. You got to have some action. All right. And what's one of our, uh, our verb? Okay, verb. Action, action, movement. Go. And then we're going to introduce a problem or event. Okay, now, in our story, we had a problem. There was a slight problem. Mm -hmm. Or we could say, or we could say, well, it was an event. Okay, that's our middle. That's our middle. Those, and those are the details that we're going to work on in the middle. Now, and, and from beginning, the middle, and what do we have? Now we've got, not yet, not yet, not yet. And we've got the end. We've got our end. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, almost. Ending, 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 ending. Here we go. Go with your ending. Know that you're ending. You're ending. Your ending, make sure you have. Your ending. Make sure you try to resolve the problem on your ending. Seeing that you resolve the problem, your ending. Use powerful adverbs and adjectives for your ending. So our adverbs are going to modify our verb, and our adjectives are going to modify our noun. And we want to include some dialogue. Put some dialogue in your story. Put some dialogue. Dialogue. What's that? People talking, talking, talking to one another, all right? Not even talking to themselves, but the dialogue, talk, speak. Okay, now we've got a beginning, we've got a middle, we've got an ending. Now, once you've done all of that, you might have to do some editing. Editing means what? That you have checked for spelling and punctuation. Now, you don't want to put a story out there for people to read and your words are misspelled. You don't want to put a story out there where there's no, no type of punctuation at all. It goes on and 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 on. All right. And you want to check to make sure it makes all right, and that's what we did. Now, let's take a look at, and Mr. Saunders, Professor Saunders, be showing you slides. What is meant by hook? Ways to hook. There are different ways to hook. Ways to hook. Now, did you see that fish? You see that fish? Ha <laughs> ha. 
that fish is all mouth was wide open. Why? Because he sees that worm. That worm is on that hook. The worm can't get off. <laughs> That worm is on that hook, and that fish is getting ready to gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> but, but see, if the worm wasn't on the hook, the fish wouldn't be able to gobble, gobble, gobble so quickly. He'd be squirming around trying to find him. Right, right now, right, 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 right. Gobble, gobble, gobble. All right, here we go. Here we go. What are some ways to hook? How can you hook at the very beginning? How can you capture? Ah. Uh, you can use a question at the very beginning of your story. Look what it says. Who left tiny footprints in my bedroom already? Thinking. So already this person will have her readers thinking at the very beginning. They've got to figure out who leaves tiny footprints. Who or what could it be? All right. Question. Okay. That's one way to hook. Another way to hook is maybe use some feeling or emotion. Look, what does it say? The man's face was beat red, and his screams were very loud. So in the beginning, now we're wondering, why was his screams loud? Why was his face a beat red? We're now beginning, ah. <laughs> now we're beginning to think, making us think. Okay, what's another hook? Another hook could be what? Sound. You could hook them up sounds at the very beginning. Crash! The pole fell in a car. There are other words such as boom, buzz, pow, boo, cling, zoom. <laughs> sounds can make people hear. They hear. They're beginning to Oh, crash. Yes, yes, yes. Sound, sound, sound. All right, here we go. What's another way to hook at the very beginning? Exclamation. Oh, my goodness. I left my book bag, school bag on the bus again. Oh! Can't you just hear? Oh, you left and the bus has pulled off and you are frantic. Oh, my, oh frantic. Okay. So this is another good way of catching your audience with some type of emotional outburst, okay? Here we go. Complain. Oh, you, you guys, you know about complaining. No, I will not spend another summer at Aunt Becky's house. Can't you just hear? Uh-huh, that's another way that you can hook them. Why? Why is it she doesn't want to spend another summer at Aunt Becky's house? But you got to, you got to juice them up. You got to, so complain. No! You know how to complain, okay? And I believe there's one more, and I could be wrong. Repetition. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes! I finally got an A in math! Okay, so you can use that repetition. See how we use the word yes, 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 yes. Happy, happy, happy. I finally got an A in, in that, okay? So these are ways that you can hook your audience. Now, go back. Look at your story. Oh, and I know everyone has their story in front of them, even if it's not completed. But look at your story now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Description. The air was cool, and the playground was strangely quiet and deserted. See how we describe the playground? How had we described the playground? It's what? It's what? Quiet and deserted. Yes, yes. And how have we describe the air? It's cool. All right. Mystery, 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 mystery. Thank you. Very good. Very good. So. These are ways that you can hook. How you word it will be how your story will begin to unfold. How you do your hook, let me say it again. How you write your hook. Is it a mystery? Is it excitement? Is it sad? 
how do you write your book will now set you up for how your story is going to flow. All right, everybody, take the time now. Give it a little time. Look at your hook. Look at your hook. Can you improve on it? Can you add to it? Is there something you need to take away from it? What can we add? What can we take away? All right? Where is the hook? How do we get your audience? How do we get your audience? to want to read what you have so they can love this game that you're going to put together. All right? So, a couple more minutes for your look, for your hook. All right. One of our objectives said that we were going to understand how to use a storyboard to build and organize our story element. And before we get to that, does anybody want to share with, with us? This not me because one here together. But does anyone want us to share their hook sentence for the beginning of okay, go ahead. So my hook was Sometimes when two worlds collide, a better one is created. And I don't know much about geography, but when you hear this story, you'll think differently of this world that we live in. I don't want to scare you, only to tell you that what you are about to witness may have changed my life forever. Whoa. And that's, who's that? Uh, Ed, uh, India. 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 India Evans? Mm-hmm. Okay, now can you say that one more time? Give me a hook. Give me a hook one more time. I'm trying to write some stuff down. Oh, okay. Sometimes when two worlds collide, a better one is created. And I don't know much about geography, but when you hear this story, you will think differently of the world that we live in. I don't want to scare you, only to tell you that what you are about to witness may have changed my life forever. I like that. How about how about everybody? Give her a give her an applause. I like that. I like that. We already know that she's talking about two worlds. Now we don't know which two worlds, but we know that she's talking about two worlds colliding. Listen to her word, collide. Sometimes we've got to take a look at our words. Collide together. I like that, India. I like that. Anybody else? Taylor, go ahead. Can you hear me? I can hear you today, yes. Okay, so the planet seemed deserted, weirdly enough. Avilion was really confuzzled because Gizmo said that the planet was really possible. The planet, go back, go back, go back. Say, say it one more time, the planet. The planet seemed deserted, weirdly enough. Avilion was really confuzzled because Gizmo said that the planet was really popular. Okay, so the planet is deserted. Correct? He said yes. Okay, now, what planet? Maybe you want to tell us what planet. What planet is deserted? What planet? Okay. What are we doing? We're sharing our hooks right now. Okay, the planet. All right, so India. You're talking about two worlds, and Caleb, you're talking about a planet. All right, I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, now we've got a hook. We got a hook, and I'm I'm like I'm liking your beginning. Now I want to share with you my storyboard. 
I want to share with you my storyboard to show you how I put together uh, my storyboard for my story. The story that we wrote about Megan Superhero. Okay? Let's look at the first one. Can everybody see? Now, don't y'all don't y'all laugh at my drawings, okay? I tried to be the best I could, and I drew. But here's a good piece about you guys in that with you, you with Scratch Cat, I believe, you'll be able to pull in your, your character, however you want to make your character. You'll be able to pull in how you want to make your setting. Your two worlds, your plans, however you want to do it, you can pull yours in from scratchy and make your storyboard. I, I didn't have that luxury because I can't follow that because that's too difficult for me. Y'all know I already had difficulty signing in. Okay, so here we go. Look at my first one. First one. What's that big word y'all see? What's that big? What's that big word y'all see at the very top? What's that word? Right. You see the word boom. So already you know something is, is happening. You see the word boom. Now, what do I put? I've got Megan is leaving a birthday party and the weather has gotten cold. That's enough to let you know what that first picture is going to be about. All right. And you see the houses. And I got a little dialogue. And what does she say? Oh, no. Oh, uh, what I say? What's she saying? What's she saying? Let me find my picture. Uh, oh no, bad weather. We see the lightning in the back. We see the lightning. Okay, we see the rain. Can y'all see my rain? Did I kind of drew up my rain? My rain is coming down, and we got that loud sound. Ha! Boom! So already we know something's gonna be popping. Now look at the second. Look at my second picture. And look, she decided to use her superpowers to get home quicker. And see, now I'm trying to show you. She's curling around, curling around, curling around. Rain coming down. Rain, and she's twirling. Don't laugh at my pictures, okay? She's twirling, okay? Now, look at my third picture. Megan, here's a crashing sound and wonders if she should turn around. So listen. In my story, I'm going to find some sound cues. When I, when I, when I finish my story, I'm going to have some sound cues. So when I do my story, you're going to hear that boom sound, okay? You're going to hear crash, all right? You're going to hear something crash. That's going to be exciting. Well, we're learning how to add digital media pieces, all right? So I'm going to add the word crash. Now you see, baby girl, she's flying now. She's tw- now she's flying. Okay, all right. So f- very good. We're gonna hear noise. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fourth one. She turns around. Why? Because in the story, remember we said that in the story she was flying, and then she heard the sound crash, and she thought, "Should I turn around?" Or should I keep going? But maybe somebody could be hurt. So then she does what? She turns around. She's going back. All right. We've got a problem here. We've got a problem because right now, Megan is like, okay, I heard that sound crash. Something's going on. Let's go to let's go to the picture six. Look at picture six. Um no, no, let's go to five. Got the wrong one. Okay, five. All right, here we go. Um, go to five. Go to five, you guys. Go to five. Here we go. A pole has fallen on the car, and a man is trapped inside. That's what she sees. All right? She sees the man, and she hears. Not only does she see, but she hears. For, and what does the man say? Help! So we've got that sound. Help! All right? We see with a pole. And what caused the pole to fall? It was that lightning. You see that lightning right there? Now, y'all don't laugh. Those are people right there. Those are people who are standing around. That's her crowd. That's her crowd. And they do have umbrellas. Those little blue stuff, that's their umbrellas. Okay, they just didn't have umbrellas. So that's my umbrella. Okay, and she's flying back. Again, got that? Now, five. Okay, let's go to six. Let's go to six. 
Got him in out of, out of order. Yes, you did. But but I I thank you. <laughs> All right. For you even for you even doing that for me. With my jewelry. Okay. Now look at six. Six says what? Six is. Oh. Six says. Megan lifts the pole and tells the crowd to help the man. So you see Megan lifting the pole, all right, and then she turns to tell the crowd. Now, let's look at the crowd, number seven, seven. The crowd has rescued the man. They were able to pull the man from the car, and he's smiling. He's so happy. They rescued him. Look at him. And did somebody laugh? And then number eight. Megan loves teamwork. Okay, all right. So that's my storyboard. Those will pick, be pictures that I can use in, in my story when I put my story together. Short story with pictures, all right? How about, okay? They, okay, Captain Megan. I like that. Captain, I might change the title of my story, too. Captain Megan, I put... I, the, the title of my story was Megan the Superhero. You think I need to change the title to Captain Megan? What y'all think I need to do? I need to change? Okay, Caleb said, I, yes, I need to change it. Okay, all right. Now, many times I'd like to tell you, once you've done the story, and then you've done the storyboard, maybe sometimes you might go back to change the title. But the piece is, you had something to start with. You had something to work from. You had a beginning, a middle, and an end. You had an idea. Everything starts with an idea. So we started with the character, Megan. We gave her some character traits, all right? And looking at this, we can see that she's brave. She's intelligent. She's kind. Those are her, we can we can develop all of that. Those and those were the traits that I had already prefaced in my mind that I wanted her to be about. Okay? And I could and I could have put that in, in my story about her, but I didn't. But I needed you to see. Right? Okay, the storyboard. So what have we done today? Today we've taken a look at examples of hooks that we can have at the very beginning, for our beginning. We've taken a look at a storyboard. We've taken a look at some ideas for how we want to, things we need to check for in writing our story. Okay, 